Hello there. Welcome to New Orleans. I'm Christian from New Orleans, or rather the greater area of New Orleans, namely Berlin and Germany. And today I digged up some original Professor Longhair stuff. And don't worry, yeah, you will get crazy about this, but that's totally normal. Everybody who learns New Orleans piano in some corners gets a bit crazy. It's a healthy sign. Let's go right into it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Take some time. Take some time. Needs patience. Okay, bye bye. this beauty by the academic with the long hair. We start with the right hand with a lot to do and it's a little bit difficult. First left hand structure, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, the tricky bit here is the 16th triplet in the beginning. One and two. Let's have a look at that. Do it with me. One and two. The rest is simple. If you don't manage this um, triplet with the right hand, because once you speed it up, it becomes kind of tricky. You gotta have really loose hands. Sub summarize these three as one. And don't worry, he plays it too. He plays it too, this variation. It still sounds excellent. Okay, so don't worry about that. The ones who want to be heroes, and you all want to be heroes, I guess, you play the triplets, one and two, one and two, and three and four and now comes the heavy bit the left hand coming together and with um with new orleans piano it's very much it's not about like widespreading melodies or runs new orleans is a rhythm machine you don't find anything that goes like uh whatever jimmy yancey like beautifully ba -da 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 -da. it's a rhythm machine between the left hand and the right hand and they're both part of the machine and sometimes they only fit together if you play them with that special hand or that special hand only makes sense in that lick, okay? Sometimes it's mind boggling and crazy to practice. And this, will, this one will be crazy for you to practice. Let's have, we go, we, uh, we do the first bar in two halves. So now let's have a look at both hands. Of course we have the octave on the one and one. Until here it's easy and we do it together. One and two and three and. Until the three and we are. You're with me? Again. One and two and Three and now on the end here comes something typical a sixteenth in the left hand. So that's how it's all intertwined these New Orleans things. Now one and two and three and two four and and that is the trick. And instead of uh, doing something really academic, I will just tell you. After the index finger is the 16th. That's my new technique. After the index finger, you do one more. Oh, that's that's really teacher teacher like. Okay, let's see. It's 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 the easiest to bring this about. One and two and three and two, four and so on the one and two and three and two, four and so we have these three sixteenths. Um, like uh, alternating between left and right hand that is very typical of New Orleans like you see always just it's just 16 but um, spread over both hands and this is one example 
One and two and three and two four. And here they meet again on the G. Everybody meet on the G. One more time. One. This is as good as I can explain it. One and two and three index finger and the four and. This is the same in F now with the, uh, the left hand and the right hand do just the same. And that would be this one. Where am I? One and two and Three and two, four and one and two and three and two, four and one and two and three and two. There is a little thing I built in, a little irregularity. I made a variation that went one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I made a variation that went one and two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and it sounds on G it's also the same one and two and three and two four and it's the same again, the index finger. Okay, it's the same then on as on C. Goody, goody, goody. We go to F. Now we do the same. It, it repeats on, on the C. And then we have the G. And it's just the same. It's actually the same notes in the right hand than we use on C. Okay, so it's really just this. Just the left hand changes uh, the notes, rhythm stays the same. Okay, and then the end is a bit different then again. The end is... is yeah, yeah 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 it's two more bars for you and then you we are through with it and i can release you from the prison of new orleans we arrive on c and this is one and two and three and the four and one and so we have an and now here in the left hand that's new one and two and it's the first bit one and two and three and the four and we go on the three three and the four
all together again. One and two and three and into four and last bar. Okay. One and two and two three two and two four and. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, that's New Orleans piano. One. Okay, again. You got it? Okay, now, all together. All together, the whole thing. C. you manage I hope you manage if somebody manages and uh, please post your efforts thank you for watching thank you for going through hell with me it's nice to go through hell together and um, see you next time in my next tutorial bye bye from Berlin take care I hope you like my video and that you learned something now you can subscribe just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side thanks for watching See you next time. Bye bye.